Let's learn how we can find the area of 2D means two dimensional shapes. The two dimensional shapes like which we can easily draw on a piece of paper. Let's start the first shape area of rectangle. How we can find the area of rectangle? What's the formula? Let's draw a rectangle. So suppose this is a rectangle and we know that Two sides of rectangle are equal and other two sides are equal. So, this side is equal to this side, this side is equal to this side. Now, base or the length of the rectangle. This side is called the width of the rectangle. Now, what's the formula to find the area of rectangle? Area is equal to length times width so now we can take length as l area as a and width as w suppose we have the length five centimeter and width three centimeter so now we can find the area of rectangle by multiplying length into width which is five into three so 5 cm into 3 cm which is equal to 15 cm square. So the units are cm square. Cm times cm is cm square. Now let's find the area of square. The area of square. Let's draw a square first. And we know that all the sides of the square are equal. So all the sides are equal. So now we can say the bottom side is called the base and this is the height or also we can say all to the side side like side. Okay. And two ways we can find the area of a square. First is area is equal to base into height. Also, we can do side square. So, both the ways are correct. Either we can do base into height or side square. Let's assume the base or the side of the square is given 4 cm. Now, we know that all the sides of the square are equal. So, every single side is of 4. Therefore, the area of the square will be equal to 4 times 4 as if we're doing base into height then 4 times 4 if we're doing side square then 4 square which is equal to 16 centimeter square and similarly the other side is also 16 centimeter square so both the ways are absolutely correct let's do the area of another 2d figure let's take a triangle area of a triangle so how we can find the area of triangle? For this, let's draw the triangle. Okay, so this is a triangle. So let's draw the height of the triangle. We need to draw a perpendicular from one side to the base of the other side. So this is the base and this is the height to find the area. So area of triangle is same for every single triangle either it could be scalen isosceles whatever different types of triangles which is equals to half into base into height so basically you need to multiply base and height and divide it by 2 suppose the base is given to us 4 cm and height is given to us 6 cm so we need to multiply these two and divide it by two so half into base is four four times height is six so we know that six times four is 24 and also we know that two ones are two two twelves are 24 so which is equal to 12 centimeter square always units remember because units are as equal important as your answer 
So area, the formula of area remains same. Either it is a right angle triangle, acute angle, obtuse triangle. Whatever the triangle is given to you, the area remains same. Either it's an equilateral triangle though. So the formula needs to be same. Let's do the area of another 2D figure. Let's do the area of a parallelogram. So let's draw the parallelogram first to find the area, how we can find the area of a parallelogram. So we know that the parallelogram means parallel sides. So two sides of parallelogram are equal and other two sides are equal, like a rectangle, but in rectangle they are equal, in parallelogram they are parallel. So this is the base and let's draw the height of the parallelogram. So this is the height. Now what is the area of parallelogram? Area of parallelogram is equal to base into the perpendicular height. The height which we have drawn perpendicular to base. Now suppose that we have given with the base 4 or we can say 4 centimeter base is given and 2 centimeter height is given to us. So the area of parallelogram is equal to base into height which is 4 into 2. So this is equal to 4 times 2 is 8. So 8 centimeter square is the area for the parallelogram. Now let's draw one more to the shape. Very simple area of a circle. So for finding the area of the circle, we need to draw a circle first. So that's a circle. Let's assume the center of a circle. So this is a center and taken as C and draw a line and this is radius which is taken as R. You can take capital R or small r, that's your wish. But mostly we prefer small r. That's the radius of the circle. Now the area of a circle is equal to pi r square. So this is called pi, pi, which is equal to 3.14 or 22 divided by 7. This is a standard value which you need to learn and remember. Now you need to keep this in mind it is r square. So suppose we have the radius given 2 centimeter. So let's find the area that will be equals to pi into 2 the square. 2 square is 4 pi. So 4 pi will be the answer for this one. We can also put the value of pi and multiply it with by 4. So remember r square is not equal to 2 times r r square is not equal to 2 times r. It is r times r. So never forget this one. Okay. Let's find the area of another 2D shape. Let's find the area of trapezium. So what is a trapezium? Trapezium having sides like two sides one side is bigger one is smaller and the other two sides two sides are paler and two sides are not paler now this is a trapezium and we need to again draw a perpendicular in a trapezium let's assume that's a and this is b and this is the height now the formula to find the area of trapezium is a plus b multiply height divided by 2. Just keep that in mind or we can say half into height into a plus b. Either way. Now assume a is given 2, b is given 4 and height is given 2 centimeter. Now put all these values in the formula we will get the answer. 2 plus 4 times height which is 2 divided by 2 now we know that 2 plus 4 is 6 times 2 divided by 2. 
So you can cut 2 with 2 or you can also multiply 6 times 2 and divide by 2 that gives you the same answer which is 6 centimeter square. So remember centimeter square is very important. Now let's find the area of rhombus. Rhombus is also a 2D shape or 2 dimensional shape. Let's draw a rhombus. So rhombus seems like a square but it depends. Its sides are not equal. So to find the area we need to draw the length of the rhombus and also the height of the rhombus. So sides are not equal in this one. So how we can find? So area of rhombus is equal to length into height. So in this way we can find the area divided by 2. We need to divide length into height with 2 to find the area of the rhombus. So assume length is 2, height is 6. So what we need to do? 2 times 6 divided by 2. So that's the difference between an area of square and the area of rhombus. So simply you cut area 2 with, uh, 2, with 2 and this which is equal to 6 centimeters square. So rhombus and also there is a kite shape kite shape is also similar to like a rhombus or we can say the diamond shape so in this the sides lengths are very different but the formula to find the area of the kite is similar to find the area of rhombus in this as well you need to do length time height divided by two so this is the same formula which we use for the kite and rhombus so in this way we can find the areas of 2D shapes.